Well, second quarter earnings in and a lot of talk about fare hikes after the FAA tax ended last week. Southwest Airlines CEO Gary Kelly joins us now from Dallas. Gary, thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Great to be here with you. Uh, let's jump first into earnings. Um, this is your first earnings report since the $1 billion acquisition of AirTran. So looking at the numbers, $161 million in profit on more than $4 billion in revenue. Um, some say right in line with their expectations on Wall Street, slightly missing some other expectations. What was at play in the quarter? Well, if you exclude all the special items, it was 15 cents a share. Uh, the w estimates were around 20 cents. Uh, but there was really no guidance provided by AirTran uh, prior to the close for second quarter. So we'll get all the estimates cleaned up uh, going forward. But we did 15 cents a share, excluding items. That was down 48% uh, from last year. Mm -hmm. And the big change uh, year over year was fuel. Most airlines, with the exception of a few, uh, increased their fares by 7.5%. That's something that Southwest did as well. So to consumers, the price looks the same, but you guys are bringing in an extra 7.5% on the tickets. Uh, why that move? Are you getting pushback from your customers on it? No. Uh, first of all, um, this has happened before. It happened two times in the Clinton administration uh, in the 1990s. And that's exactly what we did uh, that time around. Uh, it, of course, is extraordinary for the FAA uh, authorization to lapse. Uh, and uh, we're just following the law. We're, we're not authorized to, co to collect the tax. We're obviously not remitting it. Mm -hmm. uh, in the meantime, we've kept our posted fares the same that, that our customers pay. And, and it's all in an environment where earnings are lagging. Uh, the, Airline industry earnings are down 50% versus a year ago at a time where we should be recovering and not sliding back into recession. At this point, it sounds like you're not going to be refunding uh, those, the, the, that 7.5% at this point to customers. We, we are absolutely refunding to customers uh, any taxes that were previously paid uh, that are now not uh, do when they fly. So okay. uh, absolutely, if there are taxes that have been collected by us, uh, we'll work with our customer and the IRS to make sure that they get their money back. When we're selling tickets now, uh, we're not collecting any tax. We're the, there is no law uh, that authorizes us to do that. It sounds like the environment right now is a lot worse than when we spoke three months ago. I'm just wondering your overall take on the environment, saying, look, we have to make profit where we can. And then you've also got bags fly free, which cost you guys a billion dollars last year. You've, needless to say, got shareholders uh, on, on sort of a, a drumbeat saying, look, take in this money. It's a very bad environment. First of all, you said things sound worse. They are definitely worse today than they were when we talked three months ago uh, at the end of the first quarter. Uh, fuel prices are much higher. And the outlook for the economy, I think, is much worse. Uh, the, w with respect to bags fly free, uh, it is not true to say that we have a, a drumbeat for us to charge for bags. I think it is quite the opposite. Finally, Gary, I'm just interested in your outlook for next quarter. Give it, given the environment uh, that you say, look, the, the economy looks much worse than it did just three months ago, what's your outlook for the next three to six months? I don't know that I'm such a great predictor. Uh, I think the economy right now is performing uh, at about where I feared it might. Hmm. And uh, we're just not seeing the job creation. Uh, obviously, the GDP report just released last week for a second quarter was very weak. Uh, and and I'm, I'm quite pessimistic uh, here in the near term in terms of an economic outlook. The rate of growth in our revenues is definitely slowing and certainly not keeping pace with uh, what is a very high fuel cost environment.